Hey everybody, my name is Ivica, thank you so much for being on my latest Unreal Engine beginner tutorial video that will show you how you can use attenuation in your sound setting to create a spatial effect for your sound music or any other sound cue you would like to use in your Unreal Engine level. So what is the deal with sound attenuation? Well, it's simple, you use it to give any sound a kind of a spatial phenomenon to it or a spatial characteristic like in everyday reality where you simply get a sound that is much stronger higher volume the closer you get to it and the same volume then gradually falls off as you move away to do that we're going to use from your starter content as you can see in the content browser below i'm going to go with starter content and here I'm going to choose audio and I'm going to use the starter music, which I'm going to play from the sound cue right now. So that's the soundtrack. Now let's say that I want to place the same soundtrack in something of a boombox. So it's not a level music, it's not a music or a tune or a soundtrack that plays inside of your level continuously. You literally want to have it as a element of the digital world of the virtual world that is producing music and is giving off this soundtrack so let's say that this cube that i'm going to place in my level is the same boombox it's not exactly boombox like but let's say that it is uh, also the splitting effect that you're seeing is because of the volume that is presented around it Let's delete it so it's not confusing. And in the same boombox, I want to have a sound that is the same sound that I just mentioned, the starter music cue. I'm going to drop it on it. And now if I enter the level, it's going to be a continuous sound that is present everywhere, no matter where I go. Let's check it out. I started and I move around, I move closer, further back and even way way up it's still playing with the same intensity now to change that i'm going to add attenuation i'm going to add spatial element to the same sound from its description or better said its details not description uh, so with the sound starter music selected i'm going to go to the attenuation box which we see, can see here and I'm going to select override attenuation and immediately after I do that you get two spheres or spheres better said around the same cue sound cue these are the first inner radius is the space where the sound is played at max volume which is kind of the closest to it or whatever you believe that the sound should be at max volume and the fall of distance is the space where the same sound slowly and gradually falls off or at outside of the same fallout distance sphere is unaudible. So to change these, I'm going to change the fall of distance drastically to just 800 while, let's even place it smaller, let's go for 600, while the inner radius is going to be just 200. So the sound should be at max volume when I'm right near the cube and when I'm, let's say, between these two spots here, the sound should stop. So let's check it out now. Here it is. There is no sound. And when I cross this line, the sound should start. I'm going to shut up now so that you can hear it better. It's very audible. As I move closer, it's becoming more clear. I move yet closer once again, stronger and here it is at max volume. So if I move around it, it's still at max volume. But if I move here, it's again on audible. So there you have it, a really simple, easy and effective way to use spatial properties of sound and music in your Unreal Engine levels that are super simple and easy to apply 
no matter if you're using Unreal Engine 4, 5 or subsequent versions, they're going to use the same method according to developers and the present look and feel of Unreal 5 Plus and subsequent versions, of course. There you have it. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks so much for listening, for watching. Hopefully you found this tutorial useful. If you did, there is a bunch of ways how you can support me. You can send me money directly. You can send me crypto directly. You can become a patron supporter. You can buy my books on Amazon and all of this costs money. But what is completely and totally and utterly free is to simply subscribe and be here for my new videos. I make a bunch of stuff, but if you're into this, you're likely going to be into more or less everything else I create. So once again, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. My name is Ivica. Have a great day and have loads of fun in your Unreal Engine levels. Bye bye.